What's up everyone, here we go with another motherboard. As you saw the unbox, I bought the Asus Prime B460 MAR2 motherboard. This is a mid ATX motherboard that you can buy it for $99.99 in many stores in US. I bought it from Micro Center with tax approximately $110. If you're interested in using this motherboard in your mining rig as it has 4 PCIe slots and you can split it up to 8, definitely check out my other video. Also the link of that video is at the end of my video too. And if you're interested in buying the first version of this motherboard, which is the R1 that only has 3 PCIe slots, and it's a bit cheaper check out my other video i have a full unboxing and review of that too but for now let's talk about this motherboard and uh, for people who want to use this motherboard for gaming or their day-to-day -day regular work uh, check out this video too and uh, stay tuned uh, so with this motherboard you can use 11th and 10th generation intercore processors i used uh, i310 100f which does not have an integrated graphic and i also use an i310 105 which has an integrated graphic uh, i found out that the hdmi and dvi port on the motherboard does not work if you have a um, CPU that does not have an integrated graphic and at that point you just have to uh, connect your monitor to your graphic card in order to get video output. Moving on to the connection of this motherboard, this motherboard has two USB 2.0 and one HDMI and one DVI which you need integrated graphic to use, four USB 3.2 gen and you have a LAN port which you get up to one gigabyte per second through it, three audio jack to connect your speakers and microphone. We have a PCI 4 which is very important as many of the new graphic cards including RX 6600 XT, 6600, 6700, 3060 Ti, 3070 and so on all are PCI 4 and in order to get the most out of your graphic card you can connect it to this motherboard and use it and that's why I said for gaming you should use this motherboard because it supports PCI 4 uh, where many of the other motherboards does not uh, support this at this price so if you're trying to make a budget gaming PC and you want PCI 4 definitely this should be your choice and also we can see that uh, this motherboard supports dual channel memory as uh, it has four slots in two different color gray and black and in order to use a dual channel and if you only have two ram stick you should put it one, both of them on either both black or both gray if you put one on black and one on gray then you're not getting dual channel and you're only getting single channel so don't forget that that's a hint and on the other side we can see that we have a front usb 3.2 gen 1 so if your gaming pc slash your tower has a 3.2 usb 3.2 definitely you can connect that through there and you can get usb 3.2 from your front channel if you have any question about this motherboard feel free to comment below other than this thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day